Welcome to another tutorial video on PLC programming. In today's video we will see how we can run the motor in reverse and forward directions using the PLC. Before starting I would like you guys to please subscribe our both channels for more upcoming video tutorials. Let's quickly discuss our setup for the today's tutorial. Today we have a week on PLC with us. Using this PLC we will try to make a program to run this motor in the reverse and forward directions. You can download today's project file, link is in the description box. This software is free to use, and have built-in logic simulator you can make, and practice programs in this software. Do visit, the Wecon Technologies website, they are manufacturer of most reliable and affordable devices regarding automation industry. Wecon Technologies is the manufacturer and supplier of PLCs, HMI, frequency inverters, and servo motors and servo drives. Wecon Technologies can provide best hardware and software solutions for your next project. We have three push buttons, two green push buttons and one red push button with normal open contacts. Green push buttons will provide a signal to run the motor in forward or reverse directions. Both push buttons are connected at X0 and X1 inputs of the PLC respectively. Red push button will be providing the signal to stop the motor. Stop push button will be connected at the X2 input of the PLC. Next we have the motor protector with a normal close auxiliary contact. This contact is connected at the X3 input of the PLC. This motor protector normal close contact opens once motor is overload and draws more current than the rated amperes. Using this signal at X3 input of the PLC we can stop the motor. Moving forward, we have two contactors, which will be used to provide the power to the motor. Forward contactor is connected at the Y0 output of the PLC, and reverse contactor is connected at the Y1 output of the PLC. Now let's see how the wiring for these inputs and output devices, and how these are connected to the PLC. First the three phase voltage lines are connected to the input terminals of the forward contactor, and from here these wire loops are connected to the input terminals of the reverse contactor. You can see that we have switched the red and blue phases locations, at input terminal the of the reverse contactor. Next we will loop together L1 terminals, L2 terminals and L3 terminals of the forward and reverse contactor with wire loops. Now both contactors output terminals are common. We can connect three phase motor wire to these common terminals. Now, when forward contactor is on, the motor will run in the forward direction. And when we turn on the reverse contactor, the motor will run in the reverse direction, because we switch the red and blue phase at the input terminal of the reverse contactor. This week on PLC have an internal 24 volts DC power supply. We can use this power supply to power on few of the inputs and output devices. So, first we will connect a red wire from positive terminal of the power supply to one end of the all push buttons. Next we will connect a blue wire from common terminal of the power supply to the A2 terminals of the both contactors. Next we will connect a blue wire from common terminal of the power supply to the SS terminal of the PLC. Next we will connect wires from the other end of the push buttons to the PLC input terminals X0, X1 and X2. Next we will take a wire from the positive terminal, and connect it to the normal close auxiliary contact. We will connect this auxiliary contact at the X3 input terminal of the PLC. Now we will do the wiring for the contactors. First we will connect 24 voltage DC with the common zero terminal of the PLC. Common 0 is the common terminal for output Y0 and Y1. Next we will connect these two outputs Y0 and Y1 to the A1 terminals of both contactors. Let's see the programming part of the PLC. First we will take normal open contact of the start push button X0, and this contact will turn output coil Y0 for forward contactor. We put a normal open contact of the output Y0 in parallel with the start push button X0. Now if we press the start push button X0 once, it will latch on the output coil Y0. To turn off the output we will put a normal close contact of the stop push button X2. We can put a safety in this program by putting a normal open contact of the auxiliary NC contact of the motor protector. In case, if the motor is overloaded, this contact will open and unlatch the output coil Y0 for the motor contactor. Same way we can program to run the motor in reverse direction using reverse start push button X1 and Y1 reverse contactor. Let's upload the program in the PLC and see how does it works. 
As soon as we press the start forward push button X0 once, output coil Y0 gets latched on. And motor starts to run in the forward direction. Now as we press the stop push button X2, the output coil Y0 gets latched off and motor stops. Now as soon as we press the start reverse push button X1, output coil Y1 gets latch on. And motor starts to run in the anti-clockwise direction. Now as we press the stop push button X2, the output coil Y0 gets latched off and motor stops. That's the end of the today's video, please share like and subscribe this channel, and do check out sponsor of this video. Link is in the description box. Till next time take and goodbye.